red dot so all right it's recording so how you doing everybody i'm chris from growing things and to my right is anna hello we hey, are about it <laughs> we are live from <laughs> wade's greenhouse uh, in middleburg pa for wade's open house so we're just going to go around and show you what's going on for the uh open house and what's for sale yes and all the other wackiness that ensues uh, let's see, we got over here. So, as you know, that Wade is a, uh, a vendor uh, for orchids, and his open house is pretty much for the whole weekend. So, you should stop by, buy some orchids, or check him out online at wadesorchids.com. Uh, and any particular thing you want to show that he's got for sale, like, um, I don't know, let's see. Oh, look what we got here. Any of these many, many. Many, many Paphia petalums that he just got in from Lahua. 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 These guys are $20 each and they are bargain. They're all in spike or blooming and they'll be blooming for a couple weeks for you. Absolutely. They're also multi fans, so they got multiple growths on them and they are excellent crosses. And also, for anyone that just grows in their house, they're great for your windowsill. They don't need required extra humidity fans put in or extra lights or any of that. Yeah. Absolutely. And for people who don't really grow orchids all that much, <laughs> this is one of those uh, orchids that you can grow easily on your windowsill, especially for my girlfriend who's behind the camera. And I think oh boy. This is going to be a test for her to grow an orchid and become one of us. Also, they're very pretty. Some of them are multi-leaved or variegated, whatever you want to call it. But they can be very pretty house plants in general. Exactly. So moving on. <laughs> Listen, I don't know how to zoom, so. <laughs> Okay. Other orchids that he has, there's some mature orchids, like these uh, Catlia types. He's got Oncidium types. Uh, panning up, you can see Vandas and other Catlias, such as ones like this Tropical Pointer Cheetah. <coughs> smell it, smell it. It's Smell-O-Vision. Here, Anna, you smell it. Smell-O-Vision. Does it smell good? Oh, it's not right now, it's kind of nighttime. Girlfriend, in, smell it. Does it smell good? In the day, oh. It's <laughs> going away. Nighttime, so Ooh. why don't you talk about these seedlings or stuff? Yes, all these seedlings you see down here are also for sale. He has different types. You've got some SLC Tokyo Lives, uh, anywhere from Catlias to Dendrobiums to Bulbophyllums, all for sale. And I think they run around, what, $15 to $20 a piece? Sure. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> A hundred bucks. <laughs> going once, going twice. Not sold. But no, this should be very fragrant soon. It's mildly fragrant right now. Yes, it is. And this I is the... I guess we be Epidendrum ciliary. Or uh, Epicyclia. And they're just so pretty. Very unique flowers in the orchid world that produce fragrance at night, mostly. Well... Not Other orchids that Wade's carry out are kind of like the non-traditional orchids, like these Bulbophyllums. And they also have interesting and weird flowers. This one also is fragrant too, but it smells like uh, squash or some kind of a cucumber. Very big, beautiful plant. Uh, he carries these in full size and he carries them in seedlings. Speaking of the smaller orchids that he carries, um, if you follow me over here, you see this huge tray of Tolumnia. I love them because they are such a compact grower. They are very teeny, but yet they're blooming size. If you'll be so kind to look at one of these. And their flowers are very vivid in color. Very vivid. Very, very vivid. Like they have such beautiful flowers for such a small little plant. Lots of sun drain quickly when they're watered and very bright light very easy plant and you can buy a lot of them and it, I encourage you to buy a lot of them and Wade would encourage you to buy a lot of them and they all run about $15 a piece yeah there's yellow red pink bunch bunch yeah and speaking of other small plants that are 
very easy to grow if you have the conditions for them are these cooler growers, which are Mazda Vailias, and they have, they're also called kite orchids because their flowers kind of look like kites. Um, they, are, they come in many colors, very vividly colored. This one is red. Um, or they come larger, like this one here is more red and has orange in the back of the, uh, the petals. And they are all cool growing and intermediate growing. So if you have a conditions where you would have uh, anywhere from daytime temperatures from 80 to uh, 75 to 80 degrees down nighttime temperatures to 55 degrees, you could be able to grow these orchids and have them bloom and they're very floriferous. Floriferous. Yeah. Floriferous. Is that word? Floriferous. Floriferous. I do. Floriferous. Oh, Floriferous. I just dropped the... Thank you, camera person. Yes, so it's camera <laughs> dropped almost. So. <laughs> Whoops. Moving on. So, look anyway. at this guy. Look at, if you want something that is long lasting, I know I think Wade might have seedlings of this, but this is the Cycopsis Mendenhall. And Orchids that grow spikes, usually they die a couple months. These guys can have spikes five to eight years, which is amazing. That and the foilage, which I always say, foilage. Foliage. <laughs> I know, Brittany says foliage. I know, foliage, the foliage. Foliage Yeah, is so just... Brittany, if you're watching, it's foliage. <laughs> and since you're not here, this is even better. I know. You should be here. But uh, the foliage is so pretty. Just as a house plant, the bulbs are very interesting. And then the spikes that can last, that are sequential blooming, meaning they can last up to eight years, sending off bloom after bloom after bloom. Multiple spikes can form, and you will have a show for years. Exactly. This one here, since it has two blooms, if it's eight years apiece, you've got 16 years worth of flowering. And then speaking of sequential blooming, and we were talking about Paphiopetalum, Paphiopetalums earlier, this one here is a cross between... Path Envy Green, which is a Primulinum, times Malapoense, which is a Harvacepalum, which also is like a bubblegum orchid. Now, this one is a sequential bloomer. It has bloomed one, two, and it's on its third now. But you can see the size of the flower compared to my hand. These are very big flowers, easy growing because it's a Paphiopetalum. And even when not in bloom, it has that mottled foliage. Foliage. <laughs> and oh also like gosh. low light. <laughs> <laughs> this one would t probably be more appreciative of cooler temperatures, but still worth to, uh, the worth to purchase. Definitely, and if you look over here, he has his wall of mounted orchids, which is my dream. I love itty bitty things that grow into like carpets of things. <clears throat> things that also grow as if they occurred in nature. Yes, like you will never be able to see this flower on video. Very small, yeah. but this. But you could see this one on video. Yes. Oh yeah. But I love the the mount that's completely covered, almost yeah. head to toe. All in green. Okay. Uh, all in green. It's all in green. We're in green. <laughs> oh boy. She's like I'm almost done. Speaking <laughs> speaking of small mounted plants, we're going to talk about this little guy here. Now he's very small. We might not be able to see him, but I'm going to keep him in the light, and maybe we'll get in on him. This is Shonorchis trixii. As you can see, the very varied size of these plants. Look at the size of the plant compared to my finger. You can have an orchid that takes up no space versus a plant that takes up a lot of space. Someone is giving me the finger behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is an ingrecum over here. Let's find it. Here it is. I think that's in, uh, was it Arangus, Arangus. punctata how small this thing is and look the at the weird flower that's the unfurling. weird flower that's about the nectary that's about to uncurl and the roots oh god damn the roots and then going back to what we were talking about earlier we also have he also has more tolumnias that are mounted so you can also have them potted or mounted and they do just as well mounted or in pots and they bloom and they're very floriferous they're very floriferous you'll love that word i love it i love that word and then for the ones that are on a budget but want to still grow orchids that you can't really afford quite yet, he has seedlings. Yes, more and more over. seedlings, and there are of all different types. And if you would like to show him this little guy here, which is a yes. very floriferous one. <laughs> it's a pluriphallus. <laughs> Very floriferous. Very plurif floriferous. Fl floriferous. <laughs> yes. Um, 
But he Four. has a bunch of divisions of this cross yep. for sale. Even ones that have flowers that Even are almost too that... small to see, like this Stellis. Yeah, okay, where'd it go? Okay. It looks like all green to me. So. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Even seedlings that are of Cattleya and Brassabola types that are already flowering, and these are seedling size and divisions. They are all different types. He's got Bulbophyllums, Dendrobiums, Jewel Orchids, even African Violets, it seems. Uh, orchids of all different types, Cymbidiums, and, and they're all inexpensive and ready to move. And there's my head. <laughs> we weren't videotaping that, so don't worry. That's all right. You <laughs> wish you would. Yeah. Should have been by now. Yeah. So, if you guys have time, give Wade a call. Come down to Wade's open house, or just call him and stop in and see him and buy some of his amazing plants. They're very reasonably priced. Back to you, Wade. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Right back Definitely. to her. Definitely. Right back to me. Um, I love coming to see Wade. He's such a horseman. He wants to make you happy. He wants to send you home with some orchids. Um, if you ask him a price about this, he'll let you right now, but no, I'm saving that. He's a breeder, and I'm so excited to see what he does in the future with, like, Cattleyas and Masdevalias. And he has divisions of Vandas that you could buy, too, that we didn't get to. That's right. Um, giant Vanda division. Giant Vanda. Um, but he gets in things, and he just wants to sell to you. He, he's a friend and a great guy to me. And, so and to this, me too. He's so a great this friend. Lanka chunk right here. But I'm even sporting a shirt. Where's yours? I, oh, I can't. <laughs> no comment. Burn. No comment. Yeah. Well, Wade says we're all mad here. So. Oh, okay, that's true. We are. Yes. Mm -hmm. But um, Wade's orchids call for an appointment. Look up the website. Yeah, I we'll have a link that. to the website attached to the video. And yeah. any comments, Wade will answer all your questions. Um, Mr. Wade was so exhausted today from a lot of the customers that came. I mean, he had such a great open house. And just get a hold of him. And like Anna said, he will walk away with an excellent plant, knowledge to grow the plant, and extra things that he may throw in to help you and guide you along. And you can also contact him at any time if you have any questions. Yeah. So why don't you uh, stop down and see him. And uh, also check me and Anna out on YouTube. I'm uh, Chris with Growing Things, and this is Anna with Crooked Orchids. And the cameraman is just enjoying the hell out of this. <laughs> yeah, done? Oh, well, man. But no, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to Wade's Orchids. Yep. Catch oh. you next time on the Flippity Flop. Oh boy. Oh, the the end? You got, you, you got green plants over here. Yeah. And then you got more green plants all down here with some flowers. There you go. The end. Is that layman's terms? Yeah, not floriferous. <laughs> but they are technically floriferous. I understand that they probably are, but I don't... I just know the ones that actually have color. Oh. What Sorry. do you feel about the cat, the guy holding the camera, though? Is that like, going to be a bad comment or you know, a good comment? What do you mean? Oh, I'm just asking. Can you go away? I'm done with you. That's not nice. Stop videotaping me! <laughs> Anna, you got to help me out here. <laughs> help you out? What am I saying? Like, I don't um... Know. Well, this is uh, very leafy right now here, and uh, this one is uh, yeah, this is Spanish that moss, that's and this Spanish. is this is actually one of those um, trilla trilla. What are those? Um, is that what it is? is it, see, see, I see? Know, we knew it. Know. We knew it. You knew something. You know something. Uh, you know something. Come on, Jess. You know stuff. <laughs> that's all I got. Okay. That's all you got. Come on. There's more. Uh, we have elephant ears down there, but they're not colorful. Where at? You gotta point them out. Where are they at? Are they down at the bottom? I want a picture of her butt. <laughs> Where's the zoom? No, they're. You're right. That one. Those are elephant ears. Good Holy job. shit. No. So, uh. All right, I, I learned two things this week. So, you've yeah. heard me rattle off names of orchids before, right? So, what's a Catlia? That should be an easy oh, one. It should be I Spy, like what people like in yeah, their like lives. Like I Spy. Is that one I like, isn't it? You got it. Which one? Pick it up. Yeah, come on. You gotta point it out. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. No, that not Well, that you're one. still right. Yeah. Uh, well, I just know it by this one. Yeah? Yep, you're right. That's ding, the Catalatonia. You're right. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. So, uh, I think this has been a success. What do you think? 
I learned something. You learned stuff today. Yes. All right. The whole weekend has been, the whole weekend has been, been learning submerged. stuff. She's submerged. She's been submerged. 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 Or, 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 or,